Hello, this is Matt Parry from MPTC Tennis and we're here with the Perfect Serve Series Video 3. Uh, before we start, just a couple of uh, questions to answer from the responses we've had from the first couple of videos. Uh, great response, love that people are sending me messages. Uh, just to go through what and who we're aiming these videos at, um, these are for beginner stroke intermediate club level tennis players. If you are a player that plays maybe two or three times a week, you have regular coaching, you've been playing a year or two or a little bit less than that or even a bit longer but you are struggling with your serve and you class yourself at that sort of intermediate beginner-ish sort of level, these are the videos for you and this is what I do with my clients week in, week out and I've seen great success with these checkpoints. If you are an advanced tournament level tennis player, this isn't for you. I mean, you might want to watch it back and check that you are, you've got your basics down. But if you're at that higher level tennis, you'll be looking at things like your leg drive a lot more, not your basic positions for your serve. So today, uh, video number three, we've found our trophy position. So the most in crucial part of tennis now, so part of the serve now, is the going from the trophy position into the racket drop. And this is where the serve breaks down. And this is where if you've not got a good throwing arm or you've never really practiced the mechanics of a throw, you struggle. But don't worry, you can still sort it out. So from your trophy position here, the racket has to then drop down your back or we say down the back but it's actually more down your side and the entry point of the drop is as close to your head as you dare and the problem is with this is for most people if I show it from this angle most people they worry about hitting their head so mentally they will not let themselves drop the racket down as close to their head as possible so then they go for this further drop over here and they end up again with the way to serve. So what I want you to do to start with for your racket drop is get your trophy position, get your checkpoints, elbow below shoulder, butt cap out and a good bit of distance between your head and just dare yourself to let that racket fall down as close to your head as possible. So that's number one, the entry point. Number two, where everybody struggles at the intermediate and beginner level is the depth of the drop. So a proper tennis drop will look like fully down the back, in line with the right hand side, butt cap to the roof and your hand in line with your elbow. And if you can get into this position on your drop, that's absolutely perfect. Where most people struggle is actually getting that depth. They usually come in a lot more shallow. If you have a shallow drop, it will be for one of three reasons. Number one, you've got a tight shoulder and you can't physically let that racket go down there. If that's the case, yoga. I have got awful problems with flexibility. Started yoga five or six years ago, so much better now in all of my flexibility and it's improved every single shot in my tennis game. So again, if you have got shoulder flexibility issues or injury problems in your shoulders, that will stop you from dropping the racket low. The second one is poor throw mechanics and that usually is due to grips. If you have a frying pan gripping, there is no way that racket will drop down there. So continental grip and checkpoints. Again, work on the mechanics, which we're just showing you in these sections. And then the third and final reason why people struggle to get the depth of the racket drop is mentally, they will not let the racket go. Because as humans, we like to have control of everything. And I do, we like to have control. And the racket drop is a mechanical movement where you let the racket and you let gravity let the racket drop so you've got to let it go you've almost got to drop the racket and people don't like that so mentally they struggle to actually let that racket drop but don't worry there is ways to learn this out there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to swap my rackets around and the re the way i 
help people with their racket drop is first and foremost, teach them what we call the dangle. So get yourself into your trophy position and let gravity let your racket fall down and let it dangle down that side of your body so that you feel a stretch in your shoulder and you're letting that butt cap come to. And then from that dangle, you just throw. And you can just do this again, 100 times in a row out in your garden, let the racket dangle and throw and just let that racket throw. So it's the dangle and throw exercise. Again, if you look at yourself in the dangle position and you still feel like you're shallow and you know you've got good shoulder flexibility, then try it with two fingers. So the reason I like to use a little racket in this one is it just gives you a little bit of a smaller, you know, uh, sort of length to work with to start off with because obviously then you get to a bigger racket the mental things click in again so you start off small so again hold the racket with two fingers so once you get into the trophy position hold that trophy position with two fingers get the checkpoints right and then let it drop and then from that dangle position re-hold and throw again so the two finger hold and I'm not saying do your surf with the two fingers, but when you get up into trophy position and you stopping because we're breaking the surf down, hold with two fingers, nice and relaxed. Then let gravity take over and fall. Check your checkpoints. Have I got my wrist in line with my elbow? Have I got the tip of my racket downwards and in line with my right hand side? And have I got the butt cap pointing up to the roof? And then I let go and throw again. So. Those are the corrections for the shallow racket drop. You can get better flexibility with your shoulder, which will give you a natural drop. Uh, you can work on the mechanics so that you can actually stand in a mirror and do it over and over again and check the correct drop and position and check the position and that will build in muscle memory. And then mentally you can Get yourself in the right frame of mind to let the racket be out of control, let gravity let it drop and do that by the dangle and throw exercise. And if that's still not working, the two fingers on the racket and use a smaller racket. And then if you've got a 25 inch, use that 26, build up to a full size. And hopefully by then the racket drop will be into a good place. Hope that helps. Practice. Stay safe. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching the MPTC tennis coaching videos. If you have enjoyed the videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MPTC Tennis, and follow the Matt Parry Tennis Coaching and Racket Stringing Service Facebook page. Thank you.